Have you ever found yourself stuck to something or someone, feeling that you can't move forward in life? Sometimes it seems that no matter how hard we try, there is an invisible force holding us back, blocking the path to our dreams. What if I told you that the solution is closer than you imagine? There are simple but incredibly powerful secrets that few people know. Secrets that allow you to let go of what no longer serves you and finally attract everything you deserve. And the most surprising, these secrets can be applied by anyone. Perhaps you have believed for a long time that you must constantly struggle to have what you want, but what if it's exactly the opposite? Letting go is the first step to making room for the new. By applying these 14 secrets, you will notice that the more you let go, the more the universe conspires in your favor. They not only transform your personal and professional life, but also put you on a frequency of abundance. Want to find out how to do this in a practical, quick and effective way? Stay with me until the end, and I will show you how these techniques can unlock the flow of energy in your life and help you achieve the freedom you have always wanted. The Law of Attraction, the forbidden method to get everything you want. The Law of Attraction states something powerful. We attract what we project to the universe. This may sound magical, but it is actually deeply rooted in how our thoughts shape our actions and perceptions. When a person lives with optimism and confidence, they create a positive energy field around themselves. And it is exactly this field that attracts more motivation and inspiration along with opportunities. It is as if the world around you responds to what you emit like a mirror that reflects back what you offer. Cultivating positive thoughts is therefore a fundamental first step. Evidence of this mental power goes beyond esotericism. A Dutch study, for example, revealed that optimistic people have a 50% lower risk of developing cardiovascular diseases. This shows that maintaining a positive outlook is not just a matter of happiness or emotional well-being, but also has a direct impact on our physical health. When we understand how much our mind influences, not only our emotions but also our bodies, we realize that it is an essential tool for attracting what we desire. Small daily habits of gratitude and positivity can generate great changes. Imagine, for example, that you are facing a difficult challenge at work. Instead of falling into pessimism, you decide to apply the law of attraction. How to do this? Simple. Start your day with a positive affirmation like, I am capable of overcoming any obstacle with confidence. This simple change in your thinking creates a mental stance that puts you in a state of action where new solutions begin to emerge and you feel more motivated and inspired to continue. The positive vibration you emit also affects those around you, enhancing your chances of success. But the secret here is not just to believe, it is also to act with intention. The law of attraction does not mean that you just think and wait for things to fall into your lap. Quite the contrary. When you align your actions with your thoughts and feelings, the universe begins to conspire in your favor. Imagine that you want to grow in your career. Visualize the success, yes, but also act accordingly. Perhaps it is time to take a professional development course or connect with people who inspire you. The combination of intention and action is what makes the magic happen. This mindset of abundance causes doors to begin to open. Have you noticed how when you are focused on a goal, suddenly people or situations that seem to push you in the right direction appear? This is no coincidence. It is the law of attraction in action, responding to your energy and focus. When you stay motivated and inspired, you naturally attract more situations that align you with your desires. This is especially evident when you look at success stories of people who started from the bottom and with resilience achieved what they wanted. Therefore, the law of attraction is not just about thinking positive, but about being proactive and intentional. Acting with purpose is crucial to creating the life you desire. Each step, no matter how small, reinforces the belief that you are on the right path. And throughout this process, 
Do not forget to cultivate patience and confidence, knowing that what you seek is already on its way. The next step on this journey is understanding that obstacles are not barriers, but disguised opportunities. Let's explore how this unfolds. Obstacles are opportunities. Transform your weaknesses into your greatest strength. The challenges we encounter throughout life may seem insurmountable at first glance. However, it is important to understand that these difficulties are not there to stop us, but to strengthen us. Think of each obstacle as a disguised opportunity, as a tool for growth. When you face a difficult situation, such as losing a job or a relationship that did not work out, instead of seeing it as the end of something, see it as the beginning of a new phase. Marta, for example, after losing her husband and seeing her garden wither, could have succumbed to sadness. But it was precisely from this pain that she found the strength to transform her life, revitalizing not only the garden but herself. Transforming weaknesses into strengths is a skill that few develop but that is within everyone's reach. The secret lies in resilience and the ability to visualize a better future. When we are in the midst of a storm, it is easy to lose perspective, but it is precisely at this moment that we must stop and ask ourselves, what can I learn from this? Facing difficulties head on is like sculpting a rough stone. With each blow, a part of the block falls away, revealing something more refined and powerful. By adopting this mindset, you not only overcome obstacles, but transform them into springboards for your growth. Often, the greatest life lessons come from moments of pain and failure. Think of great figures who inspire the world today. Nelson Mandela, for example, spent 27 years in prison, but when he was released, he did not carry bitterness. Instead, he transformed his experience into a source of inspiration and motivation, promoting peace and reconciliation in his nation. This shows us that when we view obstacles as opportunities for learning, we become stronger, wiser, and more prepared to face whatever comes next. In addition to facing challenges with courage, it is essential to visualize the desired future. When you have clarity about where you want to go, the obstacles along the way become less frightening because you know they are just part of the process. By constantly imagining what you want to achieve, you begin to align your actions and decisions with that vision. It is like an internal compass that keeps you focused even when the winds are strong. Therefore, whenever you feel discouraged or lost, turn your attention to the broader vision of your purpose and remember that each stone on the road is helping you get closer. It is also necessary to understand that often what we see as weaknesses are actually the greatest gifts we can have. Shyness, for example, can be transformed into sensitivity and empathy for others. A lack of financial resources can drive creativity and innovation. Everything depends on how you choose to look at the situation. The universe tests us to see if we are capable of reinventing ourselves, of finding new ways to overcome challenges. And when we accept this invitation, opportunities begin to arise at every corner, often in unexpected ways. By overcoming challenges, you create a cycle of motivation and inspiration to continue growing. Each victory, no matter how small, reinforces the idea that you are capable of overcoming what comes. And by embracing this mindset of transformation, you place yourself in a constant state of evolution, always ready for the next step. This growth process also involves learning to let go of what we cannot control, and this leads us to the next great secret. Emotional detachment. Emotional detachment, the secret key to freeing yourself from suffering. Emotional detachment is undoubtedly one of the most powerful keys to freedom. When we attach ourselves to something or someone, we create a bond of dependency that can imprison us in a web of anxiety and suffering. It is as if we were trying to hold sand with our hands closed. The more we tighten, the more it escapes. Detachment, contrary to what many think, is not giving up on your dreams or ceasing to care, but rather letting go of the need for absolute control over the outcome. By doing this, 
you create space for life to flow more lightly and peacefully, allowing new opportunities to arise naturally. The practice of emotional detachment involves trusting the flow of life and accepting that we do not always have control over everything. A study reveals that anxious attachment can significantly increase stress levels, harming our mental health. When we let go of the need to control all circumstances, we reduce this anxiety and gain a sense of inner peace. Imagine what it would be like to live without the constant pressure to ensure that everything goes as planned. By trusting that the universe is working in your favor, you free yourself from the weight that comes with attachment. For example, think of someone who is stuck in the past, constantly reminiscing about a relationship that did not work out. This attachment to what has passed prevents the person from seeing the new possibilities ahead. Detachment in this case would be accepting that it has passed and that there are new opportunities to open up. A useful practice for this might be meditation or even writing letters to oneself, expressing emotions, and then burning them as a symbol of release. These simple actions help reconnect with the present and release what is no longer part of your journey. Moreover, detachment allows us to appreciate the present moment more. When we are constantly worried about the future or stuck in the past, we miss the chance to fully live the now. Detaching means embracing life as it is, with its uncertainties and understanding that the present is the only real moment we have. The practice of gratitude is a great way to cultivate this feeling of presence. By focusing on what we already have, instead of worrying about what we still want, we begin to attract more abundance and less anxiety into our lives. This concept of detachment can also be applied to our expectations of others. Often we create expectations about how people should behave, and when they do not meet them, we become frustrated or disappointed. Emotional detachment involves letting go of these expectations and accepting people as they are. This does not mean tolerating disrespect or mistreatment, but rather understanding that everyone is on their own journey with their own challenges. When we stop trying to control others, we find more peace and harmony in our relationships. Finally, detachment is not a process that occurs overnight. It is a daily practice, a constant choice to live lightly and confidently. By letting go of what we cannot change, we gain the freedom to focus on what really matters. And when we live this way, we are much more open to receiving what the universe has to offer us. Now that we understand the power of detachment, let's explore how creative visualization can help us materialize our dreams. Creative visualization, how to materialize your dreams with the power of the mind. Creative visualization is a powerful tool that allows us to shape reality from our thoughts. By imagining with clarity and intensity what we desire, we create a kind of mental map that guides us toward the future we want to build. This is not just an abstract mental exercise, but a practical way to align our mind and actions with our goals. Think of Sophia, who was dissatisfied with her routine. By starting to visualize a future of peace and fulfillment, she not only changed her perspective, but also her attitude, creating opportunities she previously did not see. This process of visualization goes beyond simply closing your eyes and daydreaming. It involves deeply feeling the emotions you want to experience. When you imagine achieving a goal, feel the joy, gratitude and relief as if it were already a reality. By doing this, you not only increase your motivation to act, but also raise your vibration, attracting circumstances that resonate with that energy. The daily practice of creative visualization can be done first thing in the morning or before bed, moments when the mind is most receptive. Evidence shows that high-level athletes use visualization to improve their performance. They mentally see themselves executing movements perfectly even before stepping onto the field or court. This is a clear example of how the mind can be trained to anticipate success. Similarly, you can apply this technique in various areas of your life, at work, in relationships, or in personal projects. If you are seeking a promotion at work, for example, 
Visualize yourself already occupying that new position, making important decisions, and being respected by your colleagues. This prepares your mind to recognize the right opportunities. Creative visualization also helps us maintain focus. Amid the distractions and challenges of everyday life, it is easy to lose direction or feel unmotivated. By setting aside a few minutes each day to visualize the future you desire, you reinforce your intention and stay connected to your purpose. It is like a constant reminder of where you want to go. Additionally, this practice serves as an antidote to pessimism, as focusing on what you want to create reduces the tendency to concentrate on what is going wrong. However, it is important to remember that visualization does not replace action. It is a complementary tool that helps the mind align with the necessary actions. Every mental image must be accompanied by concrete steps to materialize. If you dream of having a more abundant financial life, for example, start visualizing yourself managing your finances wisely, investing in good projects and reaping the benefits of that but also take practical steps, such as studying finance, saving, and investing wisely. The combination of visualization and action is what creates real change. As we practice creative visualization, we begin to notice that our lives are shaping up as we visualized. This is no coincidence. It is the power of the mind aligned with action and trust in the process. Now that we understand the impact of visualization, let's explore a fundamental element that enhances all this, the power of gratitude and its ability to transform even the most challenging moments. The power of gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful force capable of transforming any situation, no matter how difficult it may seem. When we adopt the practice of gratitude, we begin to see life in a completely new way. This does not mean ignoring challenges or pretending that everything is fine all the time, but rather choosing to focus on the blessings, lessons and opportunities that arise even in the most complicated circumstances. A notable example is the rapper 50 Cent, who survived nine gunshots. Instead of allowing this event to define his life by fear or anger, he chose to embrace gratitude for being alive, using this experience to motivate and inspire his journey. This type of resilience does not happen by chance. Gratitude creates a mindset shift that empowers us to see beyond adversity. By focusing on what we have instead of what we lack, our energy field changes, and this puts us in a position to attract more good things into our lives. Scientific studies also support this practice, showing that people who cultivate gratitude have lower levels of stress and a greater sense of overall well-being. Therefore, by practicing gratitude, you are literally training your mind to concentrate on solutions, not problems. In moments of difficulty, it is easy to fall into the trap of complaining or focusing on what went wrong. However, it is precisely in these moments that gratitude becomes more powerful. Imagine that you are facing a tough phase at work or in your personal life. It may seem impossible to find something to be grateful for, but by taking small steps, such as thanking for your health, for having a home to live in, or even for the learning that the challenge is providing, you change your perspective. This not only raises your energy, but also helps you maintain the motivation to keep fighting. The story of 50 Cent reminds us that when we practice gratitude, we are not only changing the way we feel, but also altering our destiny. He could have closed himself off in a victim mentality after the shooting, but by choosing gratitude, he opened doors to an even more successful career, transforming his trauma into resilience. This is the true power of gratitude. It gives us the strength necessary to face challenges with courage and determination, transforming what seems to be an end into a new beginning. To apply this concept in your life, Start with something simple, like keeping a gratitude journal. Every day, write down three things you are grateful for, no matter how small they may seem. 
This can be done first thing in the morning to start the day with a positive mindset or before bed to reflect on the positive aspects of the day. As you develop this habit, you will notice how small moments of gratitude can have a big impact on the way you see the world and how the world responds to you. Just as gratitude opens pathways, there is another secret that the successful masterfully utilize, the strategy of keeping your goals secret. Let's explore how this principle can be the differentiator that propels you to the next level. Keep your goals secret, the hidden strategy of the successful. There is great power in keeping your goals secret. Often by sharing our dreams with others, we run the risk of diluting our energy and even losing motivation. Laura, for example, had great aspirations, but when she shared them with her partner, she was confronted with doubts and disbelief that made her feel discouraged. Upon realizing the negative impact of these conversations, she decided to change her approach. She stopped seeking external validation and focused on acting silently. This small adjustment in the way she handled her dreams allowed her to keep her motivation and inspiration intact until her results spoke for themselves. The explanation for this is simple. When we talk too much about our plans, we often seek approval from others. And inevitably, this opens space for others' opinions to interfere with our confidence and focus. How many times have you shared an enthusiastic plan only to receive a bucket of cold water? That is where the danger lies. When you keep your goals to yourself, you save energy and keep your focus on the actions that really matter instead of on others' reactions. Keeping silent allows you to grow on your own terms without the interference of external doubts. Moreover, there is a silent satisfaction in seeing your actions take shape without the need for approval. Many great leaders and entrepreneurs follow this rule. Think of Steve Jobs or Elon Musk. It is not about hiding your dreams, but about allowing your achievements to speak louder than any word. It is a strategy of protection and focus, where action becomes the true channel of expression for your goals. If you are starting a new project, consider working on it in silence, dedicating yourself to it in a focused manner before sharing it with the world. But keeping your goals secret does not mean completely isolating yourself. You can still find trustworthy people to share your ideas with, as long as they are those who genuinely support your growth. It is important to have discernment in choosing who you share your plans with, avoiding the temptation to disclose everything on social media or to those who do not understand your vision. This way, you create a support circle while maintaining the internal power to achieve your ambitions. Another relevant point is that by keeping your plans, you avoid the trap of falling into a false sense of accomplishment simply by talking about them. Research suggests that when we talk too much about our goals, our minds can create a sensation that we are already on our way, even if we have not taken concrete steps. This mental trap can make us relax and lose focus. Therefore, by keeping silent, you maintain the momentum to keep working hard, always motivated and inspired to achieve your dreams. This silent power can be the key to keeping your energy focused on what really matters. Action. And by putting your actions ahead of words, you allow the universe to respond directly to your dedication. Now that we understand the strength of keeping our goals secret, let's explore the next important step the practice of forgiveness, and how it can free our energy to move forward toward our dreams. Practice forgiveness with others, the secret to freeing yourself from the weight of resentment. Forgiveness is one of the most liberating practices we can adopt. Often we carry grudges and resentments that consume us as if we were tied to invisible chains. Matthias, for example, was betrayed by his wife and his best friend. The resentment he harbored for this betrayal prevented him from moving forward, affecting his mental and emotional health. However, when he realized that forgiveness was not for others but for himself, Matthias began to let go of this burden, gaining a sense of lightness and inner peace he had not felt in a long time. 
Forgiveness does not mean forgetting or justifying what happened, but rather releasing the weight of the pain. By forgiving, you unlock an immense amount of energy that was previously trapped in resentment. Science shows that holding grudges increases stress and can even harm physical health. Studies indicate that the act of forgiving can reduce blood pressure, improve sleep and increase longevity. This happens because by letting go of resentment, you free the body and mind from the continuous tension that resentment creates. Instead of reliving the pain, you begin to focus on the present and the opportunities that the future offers. It is a healing process that, although it may take time, brings enormous rewards. However, forgiveness does not need to be a grandiose process. Small acts of daily forgiveness can make a big difference. Think about how often we carry trivial irritations with co-workers, family members, or even strangers. These small grudges accumulated can drain our energy without us realizing it. The practice of forgiveness can be something as simple as deciding not to hold resentment for a discussion or misunderstanding. Each time you forgive, you make room for more motivation and inspiration to flow into your life. Forgiving also does not mean that you need to reconnect with the person who hurt you. Sometimes, forgiveness is an internal process that happens only within you, without the need for a direct confrontation. Matthias, for example, forgave the betrayal he suffered without needing to interact with the people involved again. He did it for himself, to free himself and move forward. Forgiveness is a personal choice, and the true power lies in how it affects us, not in how it impacts others. This returns control over our emotions and our journey. By adopting forgiveness as a practice, you position yourself in a state of constant growth and evolution. By forgiving, you create a lighter and more harmonious internal environment where abundance and new opportunities can flourish. When the heart is free from the weight of resentment, you become more receptive to the good things life has to offer. The energy that was once trapped in the past is freed, and you can direct it toward your goals and dreams with more clarity and determination. Thus, forgiveness becomes a tool for living a fuller and more abundant life. By releasing the past, you allow the present and future to be built on peace and lightness. And now, with this renewed energy, let's explore how we can create even more abundance in our lives, flowing with what the universe has to offer. Techniques for living in abundance. Practices for flowing with life. Living in abundance is much more than having material wealth. It is a matter of mindset and attitude towards life. When you align with the energy of abundance, the universe responds by bringing more opportunities, connections, and resources. One of the first steps to cultivating this mindset is to have clarity about what you really want. Writing down your goals is a powerful technique for this. By putting your intentions on paper, you create a tangible connection with your dreams, bringing focus and direction. Additionally, visualizing the life you want as if you were already living it is an effective way to align your thoughts with the actions necessary to achieve that reality. Another crucial technique for living in abundance is to avoid complaints. Complaining drains your energy and puts you in a negative vibration that only attracts more of the same. When you adopt the practice of not complaining and instead focus on solutions and the good things you already have, you change your vibrational field to a state of gratitude and acceptance. This does not mean ignoring challenges, but choosing a more positive approach to dealing with them. If a difficulty arises, instead of sinking into it, think, what can I learn from this? Or how can I turn this into an opportunity? Surrounding yourself with positive people is also an essential practice for living in abundance. Our vibration is highly influenced by the people we spend time with. If you are surrounded by people who are always complaining, criticizing, or living in scarcity, this will inevitably affect your mindset. Look for people who inspire you, who motivate you, 
and who share the same vision of abundance. You can do this by connecting with groups or communities that promote personal growth, positivity, and skill development. It is an energetic exchange that elevates your vibration and strengthens your motivation. Gratitude is perhaps the simplest and most effective technique for attracting abundance. When you practice gratitude, recognizing the blessings that already exist in your life, this attitude creates a magnetic field to attract even more good things. A practical exercise is to reflect on three things you are grateful for every morning. It can be something as simple as a good coffee or something more significant like a friendship. By focusing on what you already have, you enter a vibration of abundance that naturally attracts more of what you desire. Flowing with life also means understanding that not everything is under your control, and that is okay. Often, we get stuck on the idea that we need to control every detail to ensure that things happen the way we want. But living in abundance is trusting that the best will happen, even if it is not exactly as you planned. This level of trust in the process and in the universe's timing allows you to relax and enjoy the present more. When you stop fighting against the natural flow of life, things begin to fall into place more easily. Finally, living in abundance is a daily commitment to align your thoughts, actions and emotions with this positive energy. By adopting these techniques, you begin to create an internal and external environment conducive to growth. And as you flow with life, your dreams begin to manifest in ways you may never have imagined. The next step is to understand how the power of aligned actions can further transform your reality and bring you closer to your biggest dreams. The power of aligned actions, acting towards your dreams, having positive thoughts and visualizing your dreams is a crucial part of the abundance attraction process. However, without action, these ideas and visions remain only in the realm of imagination. The real power lies in aligning your thoughts and intentions with daily actions. Think of each action, no matter how small, as a step toward your dream. Each step brings you closer, even if you do not see immediate results. If you have a goal in mind, like starting your own business, for example, the first step might be as simple as researching the market or talking to someone who is already in that field. The key to success is consistency in actions. Small actions performed daily create a solid foundation for achieving your dreams. Often, people feel demotivated because they do not see quick results, but the truth is that every small action counts. Think of a staircase. No one reaches the top with a single jump. It is necessary to climb step by step, and it is this process that ensures the solidity and durability of your achievements. Small and consistent actions, like setting aside an hour a day to dedicate to your project, can generate significant results over time. By acting, you also demonstrate to the universe that you are committed to your dreams. The law of attraction responds not only to your thoughts, but to your actions. If you want to reach a new level in your life, your actions must reflect that desire. For example, if your dream is to improve your health, start with small changes in your routine. A daily walk, drinking more water, or adopting a more balanced diet. These actions aligned with your goal will keep you motivated and inspired. And over time, the results will begin to appear. One of the biggest challenges is maintaining motivation when results do not emerge immediately. It is at this moment that discipline becomes essential. Believing in the process and continuing to act, even when the fruits are not yet visible, is what separates dreamers from achievers. Success rarely happens overnight. Therefore, staying focused on small actions, even in the face of challenges, is what paves the way for success. Remember, every small action counts, and the universe rewards those who keep moving. Another effective practice is to break your big dreams into smaller, more achievable goals. 
By having a clear vision of where you want to go, but dividing that path into small objectives, you reduce the feeling of overload and increase your motivation. Each small achievement strengthens your confidence and propels you to continue. If your dream is to publish a book, for example, instead of thinking about the entire project, divide it into chapters and work on one at a time. This way, the journey becomes lighter and more productive. When your actions are aligned with your desires and goals, you enter a frequency of abundance. This attracts more opportunities and puts you on the right path to achieving what you desire. And as you see the impact of these small actions in your life, you become more aware of the power you have to shape your reality. But like any journey of success, it takes discipline to sustain this energy. And that is exactly what we will discuss in the next topic, the importance of discipline for achieving great accomplishments. The importance of discipline, the secret of great conquerors. Discipline is the pillar that supports all great achievements. Without it, even the biggest dreams can get lost along the way. Although motivation and inspiration are essential to get started, it is discipline that keeps you on course, especially when things seem most challenging. It is common to feel initial enthusiasm when we set goals or visualize our future, but the real test is in the ability to maintain consistency when obstacles arise or when progress seems slow. Great conquerors, like elite athletes or successful entrepreneurs, have one thing in common. They have transformed discipline into a daily essential habit for growth. Discipline does not need to be seen as something rigid or punitive. On the contrary, it can be your greatest ally in living in abundance. Imagine that you want to achieve a long-term goal, like learning a new skill or improving your physical health. Without a consistent routine, you will be at the mercy of your motivation fluctuations. Discipline acts as an anchor, ensuring that you continue to take small actions day after day until you see the results manifest. A good example is the practice of meditation or physical exercise. Even on days when the body or mind resists, discipline propels you to act, and over time, these small efforts accumulate into great victories. Think of figures like Kobe Bryant, who was known for his relentless dedication to training. Even being one of the best NBA players, he did not rest on his natural talents. He believed that disciplined work was the difference between a good player and a legendary player. This applies to any area of life. Without a disciplined routine, you run the risk of being carried away by circumstances or distractions. Discipline is what keeps your vision on track, allowing you to build something solid and enduring, one step at a time. A practical way to develop discipline is to create daily rituals. These rituals can be simple, but must be consistent. For example, establishing a fixed time to review your goals, practice visualization, or meditate can help keep your mind focused. Another powerful technique is the use of to-do lists, where you define small goals for the day and commit to accomplishing them regardless of distractions. When you organize your time and actions, you eliminate space for procrastination, and the sense of accomplishment at the end of the day reinforces your motivation to continue. Additionally, discipline is also directly related to patience. Great achievements take time, and without the ability to wait for results, many people give up before they even come close to their goals. Maintaining discipline means trusting the process, knowing that each action is contributing to the larger picture. And by cultivating this active patience, you stay committed even when the results are not immediate. The secret of great conquerors lies in their ability to work consistently, day after day, knowing that each small effort brings them closer to their dreams. By incorporating discipline into your life, you put yourself in an advantageous position, not just in relation to your own goals, but also in the impact you cause in the world. And it is this combination of continuous action and focus that creates true abundance. Now that we understand the importance of discipline, let's explore an equally powerful principle, the law of giving and receiving. 
which teaches us how to create a constant flow of abundance in our lives. The law of giving and receiving, how to create a flow of abundance. The law of giving and receiving is one of the most powerful and often underestimated laws when we talk about abundance. The principle is simple. The more you give, the more you receive. However, it is essential to understand that the act of giving must be done genuinely without immediate expectations of return. When you give with an open heart, whether it be time, knowledge, or even practical help, you create an energetic flow that inevitably returns to you, often in ways you could not imagine. This is the secret to living in abundance. Give generously, confident that the universe will find a way to reward your generosity. Yet the magic of this law lies in the fact that the return does not always come directly from where you expect. Sometimes you help someone without expecting anything in return, and suddenly a new opportunity arises in a completely unexpected place. Think about how this can apply in your life. If you have skills or knowledge that can benefit other people, like helping a co-worker with a project or giving advice to someone starting in your field, this not only creates a positive impact, but also strengthens your own position. Generosity opens doors you did not even know were there. Moreover, giving is not limited to material goods or grand gestures. Giving can be something as simple as sharing words of encouragement, offering your time to listen to someone, or even contributing to the well-being of a group. Each time you give, you create a flow of positive energy that eventually returns to you in the form of new opportunities, connections, or even more motivation and inspiration to continue on your path. It is important to remember that the universe works in cycles, and by giving, you are contributing to keeping the cycle of abundance spinning both in your life and in the lives of those around you. Another fundamental aspect of the law of giving and receiving is being open to receiving. Often, people have difficulty accepting help or compliments, which can block the flow of abundance. Receiving is as important as giving, by accepting with an open heart what the universe has to offer, you keep the cycle moving. Imagine that someone offers you an opportunity or a gift and you reject it out of modesty or because you think you do not deserve it. This interrupts the flow and creates a barrier between you and abundance. Therefore, always be willing to receive with gratitude and joy. The act of giving, when done altruistically, generates a continuous cycle of abundance. When you contribute something, the universe responds by multiplying that gesture back to you. It is not about calculating the return or giving expecting something in return, but about trusting the process and the natural flow of things. By becoming a generous and open person, you create a magnetic energy that attracts more good things into your life. The constant practice of giving without expectations transforms your life into a cycle of exchange and constant growth. As you apply the law of giving and receiving in your life, you will notice that abundance flows naturally and continuously. And to further enhance this cycle, there is a powerful tool you can use daily, positive affirmations. Let's explore how they can reprogram your mind and accelerate the manifestation of your dreams. The power of positive affirmations, reprogramming your mind for success. Positive affirmations are a powerful tool for shaping your reality. They work by reprogramming the mind, replacing negative thought patterns with beliefs that promote success, self-confidence and abundance. When you repeat affirmations like, I am capable, I deserve prosperity, or I am grateful for the life I have, you are gradually training your subconscious to believe in these truths. Our minds often operate on autopilot, repeating the same limiting thoughts. Affirmations help break this cycle, allowing you to tune into a new reality more aligned with your dreams and goals. Repeating these affirmations daily is a simple but incredibly effective practice. The best part is that you can easily incorporate them into your routine. For example, you can start the day by looking in the mirror and saying, Today, I am open to all the opportunities that life has to offer. 
This morning practice not only improves your mood, but also keeps you focused and motivated throughout the day. The key to success with affirmations is consistency. The more you repeat these words, the more they become a natural part of your way of thinking. Additionally, scientific research supports the impact of positive affirmations on the brain. Studies show that the constant use of affirmations can activate brain areas related to self-esteem and self-confidence. They help reconfigure your automatic thoughts, creating new synapses that facilitate a more optimistic and proactive mindset. Imagine that you are trying to overcome a fear, like public speaking. By repeating daily, I am a confident and captivating communicator, you are gradually changing the way your brain reacts to that situation. Instead of focusing on fear, your mind begins to focus on the qualities you are developing. Another benefit of affirmations is that they act as reinforcement for your actions. When you combine affirmations with concrete steps toward your goals, the results are even more potent. For example, if you are seeking financial success, in addition to saying, I am prosperous and financially free, you can also take measures such as studying investments or planning your finances better. Affirmations serve as emotional and mental fuel, providing the internal support you need to stay motivated and inspired to act. It is important, however, that your affirmations are realistic and connected with your values and desires. It is useless to repeat something that you do not believe in the slightest. Start with affirmations that make sense to you, that motivate you, but also seem achievable. With each small step you take towards your goals, your affirmations will become increasingly true. This process of self-affirmation is actually a training for your mind, which begins to see obstacles as opportunities and challenges as steps to success. As you make affirmations a constant practice in your life, you will notice a gradual transformation in the way you think and react to circumstances. And when you combine this practice with other powerful tools, like trusting the process and the journey that the universe has for you, the path to success becomes even clearer. Now let's explore how this trust in the process is essential for achieving your dreams and the positive impact it can have on your life. Trust in the process. The universe is working in your favor. Trusting the process is essential when we are pursuing our dreams and goals. Often we want immediate results, but the universe has its own rhythm. Learning to trust that everything is unfolding at the right time is a fundamental lesson. Think about how a plant grows. You can water it and take care of it, but you cannot force its growth. Similarly, life has its cycles. And part of the secret to living in abundance is knowing how to wait for the right moment, knowing that each step is bringing you closer to what you desire. Trust in the process is a way to release the anxiety and frustration that arise when results seem distant. Often we are so focused on the final destination that we forget to appreciate the journey. When you trust that the universe is working in your favor, you feel more at peace and can enjoy the present with more clarity. Instead of worrying about what is to come, you understand that each experience, each challenge, is part of a larger process. It is like planting a seed and knowing that in due time it will bloom. A powerful example of this is seen in the lives of many successful people who faced numerous failures before achieving their goals. Think of Walt Disney, who was fired from a newspaper for lack of creativity, or Thomas Edison, who failed more than a thousand times before inventing the electric light bulb. These stories teach us that by trusting the process, you remain resilient in the face of adversity. Each setback is an opportunity to learn, adjust the course, and continue moving forward. This type of trust allows you to persist with motivation and inspiration, even in the most challenging moments. Trusting the process also means accepting that the universe's timing may be different from yours. Sometimes what we desire seems to take longer than we expect, but that does not mean it is not on its way. There is a saying, good things come to those who wait, and this is true. 
When you maintain the confidence that you are exactly where you need to be, the path becomes lighter and you open yourself to receive opportunities when they finally manifest. It is like running a marathon. You may not be seeing the finish line yet, but you know it is there and each step brings you closer to it. To cultivate this trust, it is helpful to practice patience and presence. Techniques like meditation or daily gratitude help keep the mind calm and focused on the present moment instead of being anxious about the future. By concentrating on what you can control, your actions, your choices, and letting the rest up to the universe, you create a healthy balance between action and surrender. This surrender is not passivity, but an active trust that the universe is orchestrating everything perfectly for you. When you trust the process, you tune into the idea that everything is happening at the exact time it should happen. And by living with this trust, your energy flows more easily, attracting what you need to manifest your dreams. But there is a crucial element that complements this trust, your vibration and frequency. The way you vibrate energetically has a direct impact on what you attract. Let's explore the power of this vibration in the next topic. Vibration and frequency, the impact of your energy on the world around you. Everything in the universe is energy, and this includes our thoughts, emotions, and actions. The way you vibrate energetically directly influences what you attract into your life. If your vibration is high, filled with joy, gratitude and optimism, you will attract people and circumstances that resonate on that same frequency. On the other hand, if your vibration is low, dominated by emotions like fear, anger or scarcity, you end up attracting more of those same energies. That is why it is so important to be conscious of the vibrational state you maintain daily. To elevate your vibration, you can adopt simple practices that increase your energy and place you on a higher frequency. Meditation, for example, is a powerful tool for aligning your mind and body, reducing stress and promoting mental clarity. Gratitude is another practice that immediately elevates your vibration. When you sincerely thank for the things you already have, even if they are simple, like health or a roof over your head, you enter a vibrational state of abundance. This causes more reasons to be grateful to appear in your life, creating a positive and expansive cycle. The company you keep also strongly influences your vibration. Being surrounded by negative or pessimistic people can lower your energy even if you do not realize it immediately. Therefore, it is essential to choose your companions wisely. Seek to be around people who inspire you, who share your ambitions, and who promote a growth environment. It does not mean that you should cut relationships, but rather balance the time you spend with these people and perhaps seek out higher support circles. A good way to get inspired is to follow public figures or participate in personal growth groups that promote this positive vibration. Another way to maintain your high vibration is to take care of your physical body. The energy you emanate is directly connected to your physical well-being. Activities like regular exercise, a healthy diet, and good nights of sleep help keep your energy in balance. When you take care of your body, your mind responds and your vibration naturally rises. The opposite is also true. When we neglect the body, we feel more tired, irritable, and our vibration drops. Therefore, a balanced lifestyle is essential to attract more abundance and harmony. Your vibration is also affected by your thoughts. It is important to remember that your thoughts create your reality. If you find yourself constantly in negative thought patterns, it is time to reprogram your mind. Positive affirmations, which we mentioned earlier, are an excellent way to replace thoughts of scarcity or fear with beliefs of abundance and confidence. The simple act of monitoring your thoughts throughout the day and consciously choosing higher thoughts can make a huge difference in your overall vibration. By keeping your vibration high, you not only transform your internal reality, but also impact the world around you. 
The higher your vibration, the more you attract opportunities, people and circumstances that are in harmony with that energy. And as you develop this awareness, everything begins to flow more lightly and abundantly. Now that we have covered all these principles, it is time to understand how they interconnect and how you can use them to let go and attract everything you deserve in life. Think about it. How much longer are you willing to wait to live the life you really want? Action is your best ally, and these secrets are the map to your success. Start now. Practice daily and watch how things begin to change. And one more thing. Do not do this alone. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to continue learning about how to live in abundance, overcome your challenges, and transform your reality. Together we will build a life full of purpose, growth, and achievements.